Yeah. All right, guys. So we just made it out to Disneyland. We're getting ready to go inside. One of these, we're gonna do a bunch of hacks today, right? I came up with a couple hacks. Some of them are secrets. Some of them are hacks. I don't know what we're gonna do yet. It doesn't matter. But one of them could very well be this one, because curvy L or L. Mm -hmm. Are we calling you L today? We'll call you L. Today. L. Yeah. So L is giving us our very first hack today. Why don't you tell us what it is? Okay, so if you park with Disney, you're gonna end up spending $20. You're gonna end up having to wait for a tram. You're gonna waste time and you're gonna have to do a lot of walking. So instead, we are going to Uber in. Okay, so this is my next hack. These ears were sold out for about two months. I just went to Disneyland two weeks ago and they are back in stock. You can find them in the downtown Disney major sell or place. place. I can speak. You know which one she's talking about. So anyway, these are back in stock. People are going crazy about them. I do like the color. It's a good color. Yeah. I don't even know what color that is. Like, I can't tell, but it's really nice. It's like a rose gold. They're rose yeah. gold ears. If we see them, we'll, of course, put them there in was, the video. No, there was a lady when these... Okay, so they had just arrived literally the night before I came, mm -hmm. and the lady was taking them out, and women were grabbing 10 at a time. They were selling for a while for $200 a piece on eBay. Oh my because God. they were out of stock everywhere. Wow, how much did you get those for? 25 bucks. Score. All right guys, so hack number one was a success. I'm not gonna lie, it was a good hack. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Elle, for that I one. I am the Disney queen. <laughs> Like that's I was gonna approach her and she just gave me this look like, nah, nah bitch, bow down. I know what to do. If you want to get the ugliest ears in Disneyland, just come right here to the bazaar. Yet. Oh my god, no. I made this. Isn't it cute? I made it with a Sharpie and I drew it. And it's Mrs. Buns from uh, That's Bambi. Thumper. That's Thumper's favorite That's girl. Thumper's girl. Why are we here? What's going on over here? Okay, so we are here to get the Monte Cristo sandwich. I need a little bit more substance in my belly. Get in my belly! So we're gonna go and get something with a little bit of meat, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of jam, a little bit of bread. It's gonna be divine. It too, it looks delicious. But I gotta take this picture. All right, I'm gonna give you a piece. We're gonna split this bad boy. There you go. Look at that gooey, delicious goodness. Perfect. This is the little jam. What do you think? Mmm, it's so good. It tastes like um like a donut almost with meat and cheese inside and then a little bit of jam. It's really good. So what do you say out of 10? 
Or would you get it again? I would get it again. Definitely share it between four people. It's really rich, really tasty. And I would say out of a 10 for Disney food, it's about a 7.5 or an 8. Well, that must be a very real score because you gave it a, a decimal point. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting really full. My best friend, Vanessa Vasquez, who's an amazing soprano, has taught me her secret. When you get full, you do a jiggle. And it packs the food down. Is it working? I feel a little sick. This is what people want. So I figured it out, Miss. I was on my phone. You do not want to sit in the front or the second seat because that is where you will get splashed the most. Yeah, I've the known area. that since 1994, but that's cool. <laughs> she knows everything that's about cool. this one. You know, like a Disney queen. <laughs> corner or something. It's marshmallows full of sugar and caramel. It's actually really really good but it's like $45. Just kidding. <laughs> Five bucks. Basically. Okay we're gonna get more treats. I'm gonna be so sick. I know. Mm, a turkey leg. I've never been into a Are you really? turkey leg before. <laughs> oh no I've been into turkey. Okay so at this point you're probably like this is way too much sugar and I get it. So you can cut the sugar by getting a spicy pickle. If you want a good lobster roll, this is the place to get it from. They're not always open all day long. They only open for a little while during the daytime. I think it's like a po' boy. Is that what they call them? Mm-hmm. Anyway, this is the spot where you get them. We just made it to one of my favorite places, the Red Rose Tavern. This is where you'll get one of the best desserts you can possibly get. It's the uh, red velvet cake. It's like a little pie cake or something. I think it's got like a cookie on the bottom. It's silver with little sprinkles on, well, big little sprinkles on top. And it is so good. In Disney's Beauty and the Beast, Belle is taken capture like she's a prisoner, but to make her slightly happier, they feed her and they feed her this. Soup du jour, hot or dirt. Why, we only live to serve. Try the gray stuff, it's delicious. Don't believe me? Ask the dishes. It's basically like a whipped cream on top of a little shortbread cookie, and then there is inside a uh, 
red velvet cake hidden in. Mm -hmm, it's so good. And the, the place that you get it at is at the Red Rose Tavern. If you come around the uh, Ferris wheel, well, the Fantasyland stuff is past the Peter Pan ride at the very back of the park. There's also red raspberries inside. On the inside, I got the raspberry. This is where you get it at, this truck, and this is on right on off of Main Street. It's the very last uh, place you can go to on Main Street before you get into Tomorrowland. World famous hot dogs. They're so big, they're so juicy. They're like what, seven, eight, nine dollars? They're nine dollars, eight something if you have a Disney pass. Ooh, you will not be disappointed. Mustard or ketchup on your corn dog? I like both. I like mustard and I like honey. Have you ever had honey? Oh, I have not. Oh, honey? Chicken. Here we go. Oh no, I only got the bread. Take two. I feel like like I'm smiling with my mouth, but my it's not reaching my eyes. <laughs> Don't eat all Disney treats in one day. That is the lesson of this video. She's trying to get all these treats right in for this day. I mean, you guys know you've been watching this video up to this point. She's really lying to you guys because she's only taking like one or two bites and then she makes me have to scarf down the rest. Um, that's okay. accurate, actually. <laughs> Anyway, after all these years, this ride is still the most bumpiest ride in jerky. I love it. I love those old fashioned. <clears throat> ah, I love those old fashioned rides. It is way too jerky. Come on, so this man, get it together. Let's fix it. Let's make it smooth. Okay, so this is the final travel hack and snack for L today. She's a little preoccupied, but this is where you get the dough with. So if you wait on the outside, the line is way longer because a lot of people think the line in here is for the tiki room, and it is, but there's also a line back here to get your dough with, and it's way shorter most of the time. Here we go, friends. One float just for you. Thank you. Oh my god, I got stuff everywhere. Oh my god. Treat number seven. I feel like I want to vomit, but I won't. I'm committed to doing this right. So it is pineapple frozen yogurt, and then there is pineapple juice. And I already talked about making it alcoholic. You want to be a real bouge, and, a, and you want to hack this. You could not. You didn't hear this from me, but you could technically bring in, if you're careful, a little tiny thing of coconut rum and spike it. Christmas, ho ho ho, and a bottle of rum. You didn't hear that from me, and I've never done that. I would never do such a thing. I would never, ever. Alright guys, so that's it. This is the end of the day for us. We're so full. We're so we're actually really exhausted. We were only here for a little while. We didn't have to wait in a lot of lines, which was awesome. Right. So I highly recommend it if you come on a day like this where it's super packed. Have a plan. Use the Disney app because you can see how long certain rides are gonna take. That's another little hack using that app because now Disney has their own. If you like this video, leave it a like, subscribe, uh, head on over to Elle's channel, you'll see the link in the description below. And uh, follow her on Instagram. She's got a great Instagram account. Thank you all. Super awesome, super fun. Thanks guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Oh yeah guys, and I almost forgot, always hang out with people that do what you love, execute now, create a little bit every single day, and it doesn't have to end like this. Two episodes right there, click them. See you in the next video.